Today's lesson is about how you write decimals. So here's a couple of examples for questions. How do you write three tenths as a decimal? Or five hundredths of the, as a decimal? Well, as I mentioned in class, these numbers say themselves. Here's a third one we're going to do. Write thirty-one thousandths as a decimal. First, we need a place value chart. One that shows our ones, our tenths, our hundredths, our thousandths, and our decimal place. If we look at question number one, it says itself three tenths. So it tells us to put a three in the tenths column. So the answer to this question, if you can see it over here, is point three or three tenths. For question number two, five hundredths. Well, saying the same thing there, five hundredths would go into the hundredths column. Five in the hundredths column. But now we have nothing in this column, so we have to fill the zero back to the decimal. And that's the case even over here. If we have one million, we put one million in the millions column, and then we feed zeros back to the decimal. Okay, the next question is 31 thousandths. Now, this can be a two-step question. Once you see it a couple times, you see how it works. If we put 31 in the thousandths column like this, we kind of go, hey, we can't do that. We're only allowed one digit in each of the place value columns. So we need to regroup. So we need to take this 3 from the 30 and regroup it into the next column. Just like we do when we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, regroup the 1 over and leave the 0 in the 1's column. Now, of course, then we feed back to the decimal with the zeros. There we go. Okay, your question, two questions for homework are these. Put these numbers into decimal form. It's question number one. Question number two is a trick question. You've got to regroup. You've got to regroup. Good luck.